video two of the hard hard rock candy we're getting there we're almost there to 300 we're almost there. just a little bit shy so it'll just take a couple more minutes Now look, when you when you make this, it's going to smell like corn's boiling. I guess because the corn syrup. And then eventually when it gets real, you know, up there, it really turns brown. I guess because of the caramelizing of the sugars. And when you smell it, it smells burnt, but it's not burnt, okay? One more minute, I think. Okay, let me move you over here now because I'll have to slide my thing over here to add this stuff in. And when you get done with candy making, um, after you eat all it, the pot's going to be sticky. If you soak it in hot, soapy dishwater, even the thermometer, everything comes clean. Easily peasy. You don't have to scrub or nothing. Okay, we're up to 300. I'm moving this over. Turning this off. Turn this over here like this. Taking my thermometer out. Kind of tap some of this off. Did it's a little job. Okay, now we're going to come with our spearmint. This is one drum, which is 3.7 milliliters, which is one point, why well, see, one 25 fluid ounces. Um, you need at least two teaspoons of flavoring, but if you want an extra strong, like I like um, this is spearmint, but I did a batch of cinnamon. So I wanted a little bit hotter cinnamon, so I went three teaspoons of cinnamon. But you can, uh, once you start making candy, you'll know. And I kind of tap it to make sure I get all of that flavor oil out of there. Oh, that smells so good. And then like this is spearmint, so I'm going to put a couple drops of green food coloring. And I'm going to get my spatula and start mixing it in. Be careful with it. This is hot. Boiling, rolling, trolling hot. So you just want to get, make sure you mix in your flavor oils and everything gets mixed in and so does your food coloring. And you'll smell it. Ooh. Now when you use potent ones, spearmint's not as bad, but I found peppermint and cinnamon when you do that, I have to put my little fan up here on because it really will uh, clean your nostrils out it's potent y'all so try not to breathe it in when you do cinnamon and peppermint I go ahead and turn my fan on when I get ready before I get ready to start dropping my oils in um, if I'm doing cinnamon and peppermint that way it kind of sucks up a lot of the Fume, perfumey perfumes. Okay, so that's done. So I'm gonna bring a cookie sheet. I do still pat. A lot of people grease their cookie sheets. Some people line it with aluminum foil and grease the aluminum foil. You do what you want to, okay? powder sugar on their aluminum foil or pan, baking pan after they greased it you powder sugar to help from sticking I found self pat works the best and I've had these forever okay see air pot now that goes in the sink I'll put some hot puppy water in there we're going to spread this out. Now, 
Now, this is a 9 by 13 cookie sheet. Okay. So, I'll show you when we get ready to start cracking the orange candy. You can see it right here. If you want a thinner candy, then put it out on a bigger thing. Um, I'll show you. Okay. Okay, then we're done with this. And what we do is we just go ahead and get me, because that's all I'm gonna pan is hot. Let me get my little oven mitts out now. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this in the oven and leave it alone and let it sit up. Some people put it in the fridge. I just leave it a few hours, not bother it and come back and it's cooled and everything. Okay, now we've got our orange cream. This is the batch I did a little bit earlier. Well, go down, 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 down. There. It just want to fall over. Quick. Okay. Now I cover mine before I get to crack it with some press and seal or clean wrap or aluminum foil or anything like that. That way when we start cracking it with hammer or one spoon or a mallet or a meat cheese and rasher like I use, um, shards are going to go flying everywhere. So we're just going to give it some wax. gotta whack it good and look it looks like glass breaking I guess some people call it do call it this this is the thickness I like my candy that's why I said put in a thir 9 by 13 I think that's a good piece um, I think if you put it in bigger it'd be real thin like that a lot of people wait so it gets tackied up like just now I put it in the oven the spearmint They'll wait about another five minutes, then come back with a knife and score, and make scores, and then you can break it like that. I just like whacking it and sh making shards. So you do what you want. So I'll take a bowl with some powdered sugar, and I'll drop some shards in there. I think these are good pieces. I even need these little pieces. I like them too. to make this candy. That's when you bring it up to 300 degrees, take it off, turn your burner off, take it off the heat, and put your flavor oil and your coloring if you're going to in them. Now there is natural food coloring out there too. I've seen it. Like the red is made with currants. You do what you want to. Watch your, watch your face. I don't know some the powder sugar. or little containers like little mason jars and there you have the candy for the holidays or you could put it on the plate we get a plate and this is a little bit water I washed it let me dry it off real good I 
store it in an airtight container or a bag, peel gallon baggie, or you can put it down in the mason jar, whatever you need. Now, the little fine pieces that are in here short. So, what I do when I get to the end, I take another empty bowl and I use, uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, hold on. I did earlier. I take a little thingy like this. So I'm going to scoop some up. Usually I just pour it in. And you kind of shake. And it gets all the powder sugar, you know, that left. That ain't the, the at least the powder sugar dust on the candy. But it gets the excess off. You can do any flavor. Um, this year I did cinnamon. Don't worry about the power sugar, but cinnamon, spearmint, peppermint, blackberry, root beer, um, orange and cream that tastes like a dream sickle, um, strawberry. I think that's it. And lemon. And lemon. So that's what the fam's getting. This year, they always wait for it. Of course, I made extra to sell, too. And, and it's already sold out. Um, but that's what they're getting. I think it's, I think it's a, uh, old-fashioned treat that a lot of people don't make no more. Um, there was always a bowl with mixed on the, uh, table, um, Christmas Day. And so we're waiting for the food to get done. This is all, um, like when you do peppermint, or cinnamon, or spearmint, or lemon, that's really good when you have a sore throat, because it's kind of like a cough drop, kind of like, um, the sugar helps your throat, and then if you're doing like lemon, peppermint, you know, um, it's like a cooling effect, you know, lemon's good for a throat anyways. There is one, um, I almost got it, but. Um, time I got to online to get it that were sold out. Honey. I wanted to do honey this year, but I didn't get to it. A lot of the flavors I can't find in the store, so I had to order a bunch on Amazon. But there's other sites like Etsy, eBay. You can actually go to the name brand site, Lorraine. And then she's got her stuff, you know, directly from her company. Alright, good night everybody. Thank you for watching this video.